Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. Like I said last time, I like to finish the uh, level at the start of a new episode. And that's basically how I got. No secrets. Alright. Another really long level. Beat the part time though. I'm really curious what a par playthrough of this looks like. Like, is it is it just an additional like five minutes added on top of the time that you would take to play through it normally? Like, not my time. Oh, I did worse. <laughs> That's what I would expect to happen. Cause like there would be times where I would like beat a level in Doom in like ten minutes and be like, that was good. And then to be like, part time, 30 seconds. And I'm like, fuck you, id. <laughs> uh, Zan glanced back at the pile of dead cultists littering the portal cave. If it wasn't for her shielding amulet absorbing the energy surge, her body may well have been among theirs. She could only hope that the strange dark mass around the portal would cease grow to grow now. The cultists must have thrown in all they had, but nothing could stop her now. Taking a deep breath, she walked into the way gate, an eerie force snatching her entire body into a twisted spiral, dragging her across unknown space. Suddenly a red light flashed through the noisy wormhole. The half-orc winced and gasped, but before she could even wonder how the cultist corruption might have affected the portal, she was blinded by a pulsating white glow. Much to her despair, the way gate spits her back into the grove. She reaches around, but... All of her gear seems to have vanished. Something must have gone terribly wrong. Oh, for God's sakes. Hello? Oh! We're getting cutscenes, boy. Cool. I like it. So yeah, it makes sense that like the sides of the wormhole would be static -y like that. This is not the same. Yeah, I'm uh I'm empty here. Now my gear's off. I wonder I mean, I guess I'm glad it left my clothes, but like Earth key again. It's now the third time we've been in the grove. Not a problem, I guess, but like, yeah, you know? Whoa. I thought it was just all underground. Have I, I don't think I would have missed this. I can see it pretty easily. That's cool. I like it. Don't like that. Oh boy. Somebody else hit that. The Dwarven Prospector should arrive by the end of the moon. Hmm. Looks like we are getting another remix here. Keep my back to a wall. Hmm. What the? Huh. Okay. Out of power. This is weird to say the least. Has this turned into survival horror? <laughs> Had a strange tremor today. The ground took crow elsewhere. Heard a quaint tune going along with it, almost like steam hissing below. Chilled me to the bone. We've also heard rubble collapsing. Guess we'll have to look into it and reinforce the weaker caves. And a month after our army set off, I know. I'm worrying too much, but I so hate this coincidence. <sighs> hmm. OK. 
Okay. I remember that elevator. I think I got crushed in the bottom, uh, the bottom part of it. What's going on down here, huh? I feel like this is turning into survival horror. Wait, wasn't there a button on the wall to let me out? I don't have a map. Okay, cool. These boxes are gone. And the mirror gives me static and... Power cord. What the fuck is happening? I just realized that I don't have to be quiet. Because the monster can't hear me. What is going on? Am I being like stalked by something? This seems like a good place as any to save. What the hell? <laughs> Right? Like, I th I'm like actually under like attack here. I'm, I'm being stalked. I guess that's why they wanted to take me back here. So then I'm not like, you know, in a new area. Um, like how do I put this? If I'm having to both navigate a new area interesting environment and navigate a new problem that I don't think I'll be able to kill. That was weird. Were those doing that a second ago? But yeah, having both a new problem. Okay, so it's the corruption again. That was a really cool thing with like the I like you go to the bathroom and the mirror is staticky. You can do this now. Like you go to the bathroom and the mirror is staticky. Auto save, don't like that. Never trust that. Never trust an auto save. And then you turn around and the, and the door is two. Still no map. Am I going in a loop here? Yeah, those are all the same. What about out here? Is this the same? It looks that way. Yeah, I'm in a little time loop. Or not a time, I guess it's space loop. Which means the only way forward is not through. Well, hold on now. See, so yeah, this just keeps leading me through in a little loop. But going back this way doesn't. That doesn't complete the loop. So it's only going that way. Why is she moaning there? This is interesting, to say the least. I played this one really, really solid Doom game, um, or a, a, a Doom wad, where... That's my body. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm the only one with blue skin, so that has to be me. Did it send me into like a like a weird little like halfway dimension? Are the Langoliers gonna show up? <laughs> God, I hate you, Stephen King. <laughs> I 
Keeping my mighty boot certainly helps my mood. Okay. Hmm. There should be a way out of here, right? I feel like I've... See, I feel like I'm just missing the door out, but I don't know if that's the case. Because I might actually just be, like, trapped in here. Hello? Mario? Huh. Yeah, this is... This is cool. Like... I'm talking about Half-Life again, but... Half-Life was always the... <gasps> it's a voodoo doll! Zen has foolishly ended her own life. Yeah, that, that hurts me. Uh, there's a thing that you can do in Doom where you set more than one spawn for player one. Because normally in Doom, you when making a map, you set a spawn for player one. And then if you have it multiplayer, you have a spawn for player two, and a spawn for player three, etc., etc. Um, just to ensure that people don't spawn on top of each other because you might you know, glitch them or telefrag them or something like that. Uh, but there's something that you can do where you set two spawns for player one. Uh, and then I, th I think that's how it works. You set two spawns for player one. Hello? Okay, I just got stuck behind that stalactite. Yeah, if you set two spawns for player one, um, I think it'll spawn like you and and your guy that you control, and then it'll also spawn something else that you don't control. But is is tied to your health. Um, and so like, map makers like I think even official map makers have used it in order to like give the player supplies. Like if you have a voodoo doll on a, it's just a second player spawn, but they're they're called voodoo dolls. But if you want to just like hurt the player, then you can just drop their voodoo doll into a pit or, uh, like put it on a damaging floor. Like a lava or an acid floor or nukage. Um. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I wouldn't do that, and but it's the only thing that I can think to do now because I'm like. I'm lost in here, and I'm, I feel like it's not even my fault. Like, I feel like I'm not... Maybe I am. Maybe I'm missing it, but... Uh. Yeah, me too, Zan. Uh. Um, but yeah, so some people... That's how people will, like... Use the... Uh, uh, give the player health remotely. Through voodoo dolls. And it is actually possible to get a voodoo doll that's, like, at a higher health than you. Which means that, like, you can die, but you have health. And it is, like, really weird. I forget how exactly that works, but um, you can basically, like, walk around and enemies won't damage you. And your health is, like, basically in the negatives. And light, huh? Your health is, like, basically in the negatives, and you won't, like... Wait, can I use her? Duh. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like they might have done something like that there. Abhoth. Ah. Now you remember. So it, it, it was trapping me in there on purpose. What the hell? Will this kill me? Yep. Okay. So it does kill me, but 
she cuts she cuts it off and brings me back to this one interesting whoa my jump is way higher than I thought okay so that's how you do that so eager oh I didn't hit the jump button weird You know what everyone loved in Half-Life 1? Zen. Oop, you almost missed it. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have second guessed. Oh, it's raining. At my house, that is. I don't know if it's raining at your house. Leap, you faithful hound. Well, shut up. What's the matter? I hate, I fucking hate it when games are like, Oh, you're my dog. You do what I say. You know, like in, in Super Hot. Like, you, you can't do anything but do that. Confused? Not really. Like, you can't do anything but order the... Like, do follow the orders. And because, like, you won't advance the game otherwise. Oh, now she's really big. Oh, and the... I keep getting smaller and the door keeps... Yeah. Kind of clever. Your memories are eluding you. That's pretty funny that like it looks like a it looks like a door and then you walk and it's like you're actually really small. Search for it. So now we have like true confirmation that that thing's name is Abhal. We have to find it. Even if it means turning this place upside down. Oh, yeah, we're upside down, and I can actually stand in the doorway. That's kind of that's kind of cute. Interesting. Really weird too. But clever. Okay. Oh, I can drink it with my head. Yeah, I can just hop up into it. Oh, that's funny. The chandelier actually does block me on that way. Well, let's do a pint to me. I need some steel. I haven't had steel in a while. Plum brandy. These are uh, looping, ain't they? Very interesting. I wonder how this is being done. Um. I'm not particularly well versed in coding and I don't understand coding at all. I know that these are looping, but I do want to just see. Yep, there you go. So what if we go one more? Now that we turn around. Oh, oh, and it it keeps it like that. Warm. Oh, like she's playing warm cold with me. Uh of all of the games, I am decently versed in Doom's coding. Warmer. I mean, I know you're playing warm cool with me, but like... This is a linear game. Is this still there? Okay. So what if I just run down here? There it is. Burning red hot. Little hitch here while the game tries to save. So is this like literally what's happening, like hell bleeding into the real world? Just not as like, you know, artful and poetic as that. Twas a great battle. And a dead guy. Some forge guys back there. But it was treason that ultimately decided the victor. Oh, did I like betray hell and they're pissed about it? God damn it. Oh, let me scream the whole way that time. Grenades. Where am I going now? Oh, yeah. You and the Iron Division have made it deep into enemy territory. Charlie. Cool. Big Dowel. 
And then those are some of my guys. The rest appear to not be. Damn. Card boy past the towards the hell gates, poison strike at the heart of the demons. Yeah, that we have. Little did you know that the siege is where it would all come to an end. Oh, has one of our own betrayed us? Your own forge elementals have turned against you, a sudden and deadly betrayal. And they were maddened with corruption as well. They struck down your siege weapons and supplies as demons grinned from beyond the dark gates. These are tents, that's nice. By the time you repelled the attack, your fate had been sealed. You could not advance nor retreat. The only hope was to wait for the supply line to send help, but alas, the transports had met the same fate. So yeah, I guess that's interesting that, like, the Forge Elementals were supposed to be our guys. But they aren't. I guess that's why they appear here then, huh? You held up for a week, then you began to starve. Wait, what's happening then? Demons had you in their claws. They knew well your supplies would never come. All they did was unleash the Karabari upon you. Weakened as you were, you fought to the last breath. Well, your hopes have been shattered, but your fate has yet to be fulfilled. So why aren't I dead yet? Yeah. It's time to reveal your purpose. Ever wonder why the orcs have accepted a half-demon like you among them? Is it that they haven't accepted me? Aha, you fool. I subvert your expectations. Your blood is the key to defeat the demons. Oh, is this going to be like a Dragon Age Origins? Because I love Dragon Age Origins. The orcs needed you. There's a little, but so do I. Interesting. Oh, these are those girls. Nithriel is her name. She is behind the invasion of your stronghold. Yeah, work the bag. By bag, I mean her gut. Some of your sisters assumed it was the demons that launched the attack, but they were wrong. Much like me, she's from the Nether, a place even demons fear to dare. Fear to dare. What your sisters did assume correctly, however, is Nithriel received help from within your ranks in order to launch a precise attack, just a month after you left town. Who's the mole? No idea, but your lances, as you call them, have always protected your city from magical attacks. Someone has tampered with the wards from the inside. So Nithriel is just one of these, like, floating wizard girls. Your friend Tiati thinks you are involved. She thinks you're a coward who fled battle. No, Tiati, I've been killing, I assume. Such an example of bravery she is. Jesus. She knew about your return before she let you know it. She was just unsure. She could have opened some doors to so help you link with the rest of the survivors. Instead, she chose to keep you at distance and leave notes behind. You cannot trust her. Yeah, I can. Nithriel seeks a powerful artifact held by the Lancer. She has a grand scheme in mind, and as we speak, her cultists are carving their way towards what you might call the Crystal Heart. Yeah, might we call it that because that's the name? Ah, the Crystal Donut. It is here where this artifact lies, hidden by an ancient civilization that would extinct long, long ago. You didn't think the orcs came up with Crystal Tech by themselves, did you? It's not exactly in their character, no, but I would suppose anything could happen. What the artifact does is of no importance. What matters is that I need you to stop her. Oh, we're fighting Nithria. You do what your vengeance, don't you? Besides, you owe me your life. Ah, she preserved me with her abhow of powers. Couple more for the road. That was a... That, could, that That is one of those things that could only be described as a plot dump. Right. I saved your skin, remember? 
ah, so this is where I was, and then presumably she just opened this portal on top of me and then dropped me off somewhere. So that's what the prologue is. The prologue is the actual, like, first charge, and then it's like, hey, it's going bad. Can you go and, like, check something out and be like, find out? Because she doesn't trust me, because um, Tiati doesn't trust me. Okay, it all makes sense now. And then she just dropped me back at base so I could go solve those problems. Of course you don't. You hit your head pretty hard. And now we're back in these caves. I dragged you away from battle a mere moment before you would have died. You're welcome. And I assume you just dropped me on top of a health pack since I seem to absorb those by just falling on them. For days you've crawled through dark caves holding on to your final breath. What is that? It looks like teeth. But you couldn't die now. You still have a mission to fulfill. What if I drown myself in those caves? Wouldn't that be funny? I'm gonna save here just because... This looks like an eye with a face. Like, this is the eye and then this is the nose. Sorry, when I just, like, looked at that, I was like, what the what the what? But then the unpredictable happened. What happened, Abhouth? <laughs> now you know how it began, and you know m what, what you must end. Hurry now, time to stop n Wait. What the fuck? Don't even flinch. What happens if I flinch? She is faster than I expected. You have to get out. Find yourself before she finds you. Am I like finding my way back to my body? She seems to have trouble seeing you. I wouldn't force my luck though. Ugh, gnarly. Okay, back to here. So are these like just shadow clones of her? Is she jutsuing? Weird. So we have a stealth section as well. Like we had like a gigantic plot dump and now we're going through a stealth section. It's kind of interesting. All right, my body was somewhere around here, yeah? I'm kind of hoping that this errs on the side of being more forgiving with the stealth. Because first and foremost, oh, this is where I started, damn it. Stealth in Doom is not particularly well known for its quality. But also, it's a forced stealth section. Yowza. Okay, so what am I meant to do there? Okay, so not that. But my mic, sorry. That's coming up. Hmm. This is a new entry in that new, exciting, and awesome genre of being chased around by beautiful women, I guess. Okay, I feel confident in, in putting a save down here. She can kill you before you can blink in this place. Like, RE8, uh, there's this game called Daisy's Farm. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach has a bit of it. And, uh, what's the game about the Yandere girl? Not the, not Yandere Simulator, where you're playing as the senpai. Where you're the guy. Damn. Uh, Psycho no Sutoka, I think. 
Games where like a sexy lady is like stalking you and haunting you. What, what, what's going on there? All right, hey, we're back. Uh, my wife just got home, which is also why my makeup got back because she wanted to play around with it. No, go away. I'm not in here. You can't see me. Damn. Just got a crouch walk. There is a console. I can use it to skip this cheesy cell section if I need to. Okay. Okay, so she does hear that. I'd like to restart. Can you? Thank you. Um, I was kind of hoping I would get the axe to play around with, you know? Because, like, yeah, being able to throw the axe and make a noise and then they're like, hey, what's that over there? Like, that would be cool. And, like, because you throw the whole fucking thing, like, they would have to go and, like, you would have to go and get it, like, potentially into the danger zone in order to get it again. Speaking of which... Danger zone. Okay. Hello, ladies. Now, let me just sneak by you here. Zoop. A lot of corruption on the floor. Very goopy. That's it, you're almost out. Cool. This is probably a big one, right? Yep. Bingo. What the? Get her. Zan? Zan. She probably doesn't say it like that. We're back in the corrupted one. Interesting. Now what? Giant <laughs> Thrill? Oh boy. Oh my. Picked up a potion of might. Those, that's good. Oh, and they make your health go up too. Oh, not that fast. Excuse me. Oh, a lot of guys. The Forge Elementals. They've betrayed me again. So this is a real boss fight. That's cool. Normally, like, um, classic shooters like this don't really go too far into having, like, boss fights, you know? All right. So she kind of shoot. They, like, soft track. They, like, softly home. So, there it is. There you are. Is she teleporting behind me? Trash. No. 
Now let's back off, regen. Oh, the way that more floor comes in is actually cool. Like I say that as though it might not be cool, but it is really cool. It's a good effect. I like that a lot. You scum! Oh, we got guns now. And the Amulet of Shadows does, in fact. Turn us Invisiblast. Whoa! And we're still regenerating. Which also means that um, the Potion of Mine is still on. And I wanna, I wanna get a hold of that. I wanna use more. Okay, we're no longer regenerating. Have this back. <laughs> there that goes. Okay, let's put a clip in here. Oh, those 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 are grenades. I haven't gotten to use those in a while. Jeez. All right, let's take care of, of you. Frag fire cans. No frag fire, fire. So yeah, Nithrel is just like a like a generic version of those those like one ladies. This is a pretty bombastic fight, though. I like that. Only got these two, huh? Damn shame. The fact that it's even just called Giant Nithrel, like it's not like true form Nithrel or, or anything cool at all. It's, it's literally just like, she's big now so you can have a boss fight. That's kind of silly. But yeah, um, like a proper boss fight is like there. There were, I think, I want to say like no proper boss fights in Quake. Like that you, no like shoot shooter fights, you know. Um, it usually strays away from that. Like they have like tough enemies here and there, but they normally don't have like a boss fight like, with a health bar on screen and everything. Jeez. Get rid of you guys. That's all right. Like the, I think there. Are, I want to say there's only two boss fights. There's the big, the big guy who looks like a fat Balrog, who's like sitting like waist deep in lava, in lava. Um, and that's mostly a puzzle to just turn on the right things. Uh, and then there's the final boss, who I think is Shubnagura. Yeah, I think the first guy is Kathon. Um, ooh, Crush Bar. Nice. Or maybe he's Chatur uh, Chaturga. You know, Chichurk is from um, Eternal Darkness. Oh god, damn it! One mo, everyone. All right, I fought to. I fought a little further into her health bar. I think there's no way for me to avoid taking that damage. It might come in handy to like have that health later. So yeah, like, these games are usually pretty light on having, like, proper boss fights. Because, like, Chupnagurath and uh, uh, Thawne are both, like, relatively pretty, um, like, puzzle-based fights. Uh, and what's more, I think 
in Doom every single boss type enemy, because there are like enemies that are just called bosses, but to my knowledge they can be skipped. Uh, and that's just the spider demon and the... The cyber demon and the spider man. Sorry. Try to crisscross them there. That's illegal. Um, so I did actually find a crush bow this, or a, a, a frag fire gun this time. A potion of stone skin. That'll be useful. But yeah, the problem is that I'm having to close to melee distance in order to properly use it. Yeah, this is an interesting fight. The way that, like, more rings come on and, and that, like, adds more... Oh, God. Okay, so that's something that probably hit me last time. The way that more rings, like, close in... ...is pretty cool. Yeah, I just... I need to deal with these guys to improve my chances over there because, like, the bullet hell is real. Cool. Almost feels like Unreal Tournament when I'm like jumping and shooting these things. That's the vibe I get, you know? My wife loves Unreal Tournament. I should probably play Quake with her at some point. She would really enjoy it. Quake 2, probably. Because I, I think Quake 2 is the one that ended up being more popular in the long run. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay I want to sprint to the other side of the arena and try to get another save in. Danger zone. Of course, I didn't load this gun. Why would I do that? That'd be silly. Yeah, I want to get my, my punches in, too, just because punching is fun. God, Don Maku over here, you know? This is one of those things that, like, I always love in games. Like, in a Sonic game, you're having a fight against Knuckles, right? Just off the top of my head here. I haven't seen the new Sonic move, but I want to. Um, but, like, you're having a fight against, for example, Knuckles, and he's got a health bar. But when you play as Knuckles, he uses rings, and Sonic has a health bar. And, like, it's this thing where, like, are you on a different, like, level of power than me, or is this just something to make the boss fight work? Because if it's just, like you just have a big number, then, like, whatever. But, like, oh, maybe maybe the case is that she's actually just that strong, you know? Some more of that, huh? I don't see any more pillar or, um, um, like, rings on the island. Oh, there are more guys, actually. This thing's starting to run dry. It's out. Okay. Cool. Okay, now... Oh, I need those. God. Okay, gotta stay jumping. ABJ, always be jumping. Ancient strategy, you know? What else do I have in here? I don't know what those... I don't know what that does. Oh, I rocket jumped! That's really cool! Yeah, I don't know what I've done to my health. Or to myself. Uh... I use that item without actually thinking or looking. That sounds like a bomb. Whoops! Damn it. That's a lot of health. That's a lot of stuff that I have to go through again. having, because, like, the, the, like, 
almost like, you know, inventory system does kind of work. Because, like, there is a problem where it's, like, you get knocked down one hit point and then you get knocked into, like, a, 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 a potion of a million health. You know, or, like, you get a huge med pack in Doom. And it's like, well, now that's 100 health that you've wasted, you know? Like, it gives you 100 health, you lost one point of health, and you wasted 99 of it. And, like, you know, you can't choose to not pick it up if you if you run into it. You, wow! So. You just have to deal, you know? And so, like, I'll just take chip damage and, and just have to deal, you know? I don't know what I just drank. I, I, I guess that, like, this is probably the time to use all my items. Like, I, if I have an item, I should just be using it. Do wish I could pause and read the description of this. Go back to this one, I guess. Anybody else? A couple guys over here. This is like a crystal of invisibility I'm using. Yeah. Sorry, I wouldn't immediately notice it because my axe isn't always on screen. More of you. This might be a good time to save. Oh yeah, and the save. Okay, thank you. Now, where's the big lady? I want to crush by her. All right, should probably leave it then. She's gonna start moving. Clean. Okay, and then she puts up her shields. That's a bad one to hit with. Will you go away, balls? Please. Whoa, and the other guys have come in. Man, this is a good fucking. This is legitimately exciting. I feel good about my choice of difficulty now. I was being challenged in other in other cases in other places. But like, boy, am I getting a am I getting a, a challenge here, you know? Right, let me find some health. Well Gas in the toxic cloud, you say. Alright. We were crush bowing her. She moves. Hey, fuck. Missed one there. Oh god! <laughs> Did not. I succumbed to Nithril's powers. Did not look before I leap, but it does drop you back up here, which is actually more forgiving than I suspected. Gotta support some guys. Damn it, I did it again. But it'll drop me up here, so I just gotta move. Okay, yeah, just gotta move. So presumably, what's her name? Abhoth is like looking out for me. It got her down into the red orange. I know my Crayolas, and that's a red orange right there.
Come on out. I want to say hi. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, I think I got two in that shot. Which is good. I gotta get up. I gotta get more of those. Okay, cool. Wow! Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, my commentary is getting real bad just because I'm focusing in hardcore. My eyes are glowing. My health is full. She's surrounded by dead orcs. You get back here. So presumably she's not actually a giant. That was just like a thing she manifested to fight me. So we at least scared her off for sure. Aaron signal finished. Nice. Uh, I know there's more levels, but the LP might stop here, but I, I have room to do a couple more episodes. I'm going to read the end of this as well. Um, I know that that breaks the rule that I established, but it's my rule, so I can break it anyway. Uh, and I, there's there, there, there was a place to save, but I didn't realize that that was the opportunity to save. Actually, no, there was. Whatever, I'll just do it. Had a pit. A loud shriek pierced and echoed through the abyss as Nithriel conjured all of her powers to preserve her life. A bright flash of light briefly blinded the horned warrior, and she could do little but stand and watch the elven warlock ascend to the starry nether. The battle was over, but it somehow felt like it had not even truly began. Ugh, whatever. Cliché. As the hellish sky faded into... I guess I'm, you know, bitching about a story in a Doom game, which have historically been very light. Uh, as the hell sky faded in serenity, a dark portal emerged from the ground. Zan couldn't help but ponder if any of that was actually real. Yeah, right? Especially after what I've seen. Uh, as soon as she entered the portal, a sudden shock woke her up. Tongues of crisp wind whistled through the trees, uh, spreading scents of pine. Where was she now? The mountainscape surrounding her looked chillingly familiar. She was outside, farther away from ever than uh, farther away than ever from stopping Nithril. With a tired sigh, she grabs her gun and steps forward, nervously wondering what happened to Abhoth and if she'll turn up to the to point the way before the heart is lost. <sighs> wow. That was pretty solid. Cause we're probably gonna get another one, right? Um, that was really good. Uh Ivan Alfred, this has been Head and Blood Right. Uh, really solid. Again, um, I'm w seven levels in. Yeah, this is the seventh level besides the prologue. Um, so there's like three or four more in this episode. And then, um, yeah, there's three or four more in this episode. And then there's, uh, another 12 levels in the next episode. Because uh, these episodes are pretty long. And these levels are long, too. So you're getting your money's worth. Um, but yeah, this game's on Steam. Really good. Support the developer. Tell him he made a good game. Even if you don't buy it, just send him a message to be like, hey, it's good. You know? But yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Right. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for coming. Bye.